hello guys welcome to another video tutorial by no code africa in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to integrate both cx.io's uh, api and chat gpt api to you know get the exact price of bitcoin at the current time okay so um basically uh we're going to be assessing the api from cx.io and we're also going to be getting the api from chat gpt and we're going to integrate it inside flutterflow so that we can actually ask uh, chat gpt uh, some questions but within flutterflow all right so in this tutorial you're going to discover how to integrate uh, chat gpt api inside your flutterflow application meaning that you can add this particular uh, feature inside any mobile application that you build uh, with Flutterflow and of course without writing a single line of code. Okay, so uh, back to CX.io. This is the platform where you can actually, you know, go ahead and buy, sell, trade, hold, and uh, earn cryptocurrencies. Uh, there is currently uh, an airdrop uh, program, which is called the PowerTap uh, program, where you get to earn some currencies, uh, earn some rewards for participating in different uh, events in the community. All right, we'll get back to this uh, later on. All right, so uh, I created this particular document just to, uh, guide you i will share it in the description under this uh, video it will help you understand uh like it will help you with some of the resources that you need like for instance you need the endpoint uh for chat gpt integration you need the endpoint uh and i will just walk you through the entire step it's going to be uh something very simple and easy to do all right so here you go uh we have uh, this particular ui right so i already have like a screen where i created the splash screen here all right so we have this part that takes you to the the home page where you get to like see the real price of ethereum and bitcoin i did this already in a previous tutorial but in this particular one i really just want to focus on you know chat gpt's api and then of course we're going to cross check whether an information gotten from chat gpt is actually very correct compared to an information about the current price of bitcoin gotten from chat gpt gotten from asking chat gpt a question uh correspond with uh, the exact value of bitcoin uh or ethereum as generated from the api we're going to be you know using from cx.io Okay, so uh, let's look at this real quick. This is for people that are very new uh, to Flutterflow, right? Flutterflow helps you to build application faster and uh, build better, launch faster, right? So you get to build applications without having to write a single line of code. And uh, here I have already created the UI for this particular application because I don't want the video to be very long. All right, so I've created the UI already, and this is the part that shows the result of the the the, the response from ChatGPT's API. Right, and um, how did we get to like set up these, and how can we do this like step by step? So the very first step is to create this page, of course. So you get to create this page. If you want to understand how to create this page, uh, you know, using Flutterflow, you will have to check uh, the description under this video, and you will. Or see a free tutorial of course that will show you how to do front-end development inside Flutterflow so you can understand how to do this it's really simple simple in fact if at all were to do this real quick the idea is just to click on this particular tab click on new page and uh, okay we're already on new page so we're just gonna say create blank and so we can just say chat because we already have a page that is called chat so we just say chat so it's gonna appear like this and um, here in this previous page we had here ask any question so here we can just go ahead and do the same thing ask any questions any question so then inside this column this is like a column every single thing inside uh this page is a widget all right the very first one here is a scaffold it's like what uh everything is being built on top of okay so we have the column here and then we have the app bar the app bar is what makes up all of this particular part and then this is the column the column is where we get to fix in the the row here where we also have text so the way i did it is quite simple what i just did was you click on the column click on uh the add a child to the widget which is this small icon here then you just add your row and then after that you can add your text 
all right inside that row all right then what i now did was this row now and i just want to be able to like wrap all of this row so i'll right click and wrap this row which is the widget in uh, another widget called list view all right so i wrapped it in list view the reason is because i want to produce later on i want to produce like maybe a list of the the response that i have gotten so far right so i just want to put uh, produce a list of responses okay so um i think what i could do is maybe uh yeah so a list of responses so we can just put it out like that and then um here this is the text widget so i'm just going to click on the list view and i'm going to add a, a padding so i can add a padding here to give it some space from the left or preferably i can add the padding to the column so i can just add here 24 and add here 24 then i can give some padding from the top here 24 as well all right so now we have this uh, what we can do next is just to click on the add a child to the widget the widget being the column so we're going to be adding another widget called text field so uh if you come down here you see the text field this is the text field this is a this is how it looks like now uh, i'm gonna just click on that text field come down here and say i wanted to have an infinite width and then the maximum number of lines i want it to be five okay and i uh, will just scroll down a bit to where we have the color of the border so i'm gonna click over here and then i'll use maybe alternate i can even use blue as the color of the border all right something like this then i will go ahead and give it some padding from the top maybe 24 to push it down a bit now this is where the user gets to type an information inside and then maybe clicks a button so i'm going to go ahead and click to add a child to the column i add a button here so this button is going to say ask uh, ask chat gpt okay now i'm saying ask chat gpt the next thing i'm going to do right now is i'm going to make the the width of the button to be infinite then i'm going to add a pad a, a a padding a top padding to it so like this okay so we are we have actually finished replicating this particular page right it's just the same thing all right almost the same thing just different colors now because the color of the border here is blue the other one is a different color all right so what do we do next uh, i can just click on the chats here and then for the primary background color i'll make it secondary so everything just looks a bit cleaner now okay so how do we go ahead and just uh, do this let me go ahead and just run the application first so we can take a look at uh, how it looks like in real time so what we are trying to do is we want to first of all explore uh, cx.io's api okay if you come over to the on the products you will see this particular information here which is the cx.io crypto trading and exchange api now you can actually get to use this api from cx.io to you know check out the the real-time prices of ethereum bitcoin you know every single kind of uh, cryptocurrency that you want so you can click here to read the api documentation all right so um i'm still waiting for this to load up real quick so that we can like check out how the application runs all right so while we are still waiting for this we can just go ahead and come back to uh, where we have our application so we'll just come back right here to this part and then we will continue building okay so uh what next do we need to understand all right so i want you to forget about uh this particular part so this part is just uh, something i had created before if you want to see how this was created you should refer to the link under this video that has to do with uh, this particular part you will see it very very uh you know descriptive okay so this is loading up real quick and we're going to see it up very soon now let's go ahead and see how we can integrate uh, uh chat gpt's api all right so if you come over here to the api call uh, section in the flutterflow dashboard you will see that i had already set up uh the uh api for checking out the bitcoin price all right and then uh the api for checking out the ethereum price so i really talked about this in the previous video which you can refer to like i said earlier or preferably just look at it here so we're going to be giving the api you click here to create a new api call like this okay that's how you do it then you put the api uh, call name so here you just say btc price and then you put the uh, api url all right so let me just cancel it 
So here we have the API call name is BTC price and then the method type is get because we're trying to get an information from uh, somewhere else that's from the API. So here we have the API URL is very important because this is what is going to give us the value of just the BTC everything about BTC all right against USD. Okay, so then uh, we don't have any query parameters, we don't have variables, we don't have advanced settings. Then after that, we just have this part. And what I did was I, uh, I did test the API call. And then after testing the API call, got a success response like this. And after that, I went through the JSON part, the different JSON parts. Uh, okay, no, this is the one that I added. These are the JSON parts that I added, but these are all the JSON parts that have been recommended. That means these are like the informations, the variables that contain something inside it that you can, uh, you know, add up into your project and use the value. So you see here the volume of trade, the timestamp, the volume, 30 days volume, the bid, the ask, the price change. I didn't really need all of these. I just use the variable for lowest price the last price uh, the highest price price change percentage and the pair that's what i used so how you do that is after you've done a test response what you need to do now is you see this recommended part you just click to add the json part and then give it a name all right so just like all of these i give it a name perfect now and after you've done all of that you just make sure that you click on save you did the same thing for ethereum price put the api call name as ethereum price or anything else you want to call it that you will remember then you can go ahead and put the api url and there are no parameters there are no variables there are no advanced settings it's quite straightforward and you click to test your api call you get the success information success 200 the status success which is 200 uh code 200 then you also set up your json path by looking at all the available paths and then selecting the one that you really want to use okay now and then when you're done with that which is for the btc price and for the ethereum price the next thing you need to do is go to chat gpt that's create a, an api uh group for chat gpt api so what you do is you click here to add an api group then you give it a name then you give it a base url all right so uh i don't want to start all over from scratch so the base url that we are using here is this one all right if you check the documentation that i provided here from here to here is the base url while this other one is an endpoint that we need to use for chat completions all right, so when you ask a question, this is the endpoint that provides you with an answer, with a response. Okay, so now we have um, we have this particular information here. So this is the API base URL. You don't write all of it. You just write just what we have here. And then after that, you can go ahead and save. Remember, you add the, ChatGP, the API group name face, which is, which is a, a ChatGPT API. You save it. Then after that, you will see where to click to add an API call. I have already added one API call, which is called send message. I gave the API call uh, a name, which is send message. And after that, I did uh, select post type because we're trying to put an information there. To receive a response all right so uh, we're using a post type here and then this is the uh, previous one that comes from the group right and then this is the one that is that shows the endpoint okay so we have these as the endpoint what we need to do next is um, what we need to do next is to set our headers all right so i already mentioned that here in the in the document which you will find the link to this document in the description under this video so you you need the authorization uh part which author authorization bear and uh, it's requires you to put your api key like this you know so you need to put your open AI api key here open ai api key then you need to also put the cont content type uh, as one of your headers so if you see here i already did that content type you know application slash json and then the authorization part bearer and then i use this now and i use this because i want to pass in the api key as a variable not as a constant uh value i just want to pass it as a variable because if i pass it as uh as a constant just on the, the the direct url like this right it's going to make our application uh vulnerable all right vulnerable to cyber attacks someone can actually get to steal our api keys and uh, you know 
you know rain havoc on our application so i'm putting it here as as a variable and uh, for that reason i had to come here to variables part and then create a variable called api the type is string all right and then i also did create another one called the user input why did i have to create the user input as a variable because this particular api call requires a body all right it requires a body that is a json and uh, it needs only one of these variables now if you see here what we have here says content and this content uh, is like the information that the user types in their text field so when the user comes to this particular uh, place and types an information here this is the content thing all right so if you come over here come back here go to send message go to body all right you see this content is what the user imputes inside like types inside there because we're going to be posting this particular information to ChatGPT's api to give us a response okay so after you've for for you to set up your body you need to come to this particular document again and just copy all of these and just paste it there remember to change this place to that variable just like i did here all right so change it to the variable what you do is that once you've created the variable you can just drag these and just you know put it here all right i've already put that here so uh it can be added again and then make sure you click on format and then save all right when you're done with that that's like the end of it you need to now go ahead and check out uh do a response and test and then for response and test you need to put like a user input remember the user input is the question that the user is asking chat gpt while the api key is what you get from your uh platform that open ai.com so if you already uh have an account you can just have access to this you just need to go ahead and copy your your uh you know when you come here to platform.openai.com search for api keys you see a place to create a new secret key you create it and then you copy it because you will need to use it so i did paste mine here and then after that i'm just going to click on response sorry no i'll just test the api call first then after testing it i'll get like a reasonable response so here i said what is flutter flow and then it gives me and information which is the content all right so you need to take note of it is the content flutter flow is a visual app builder that allows users to create flutter apps without writing code all right so that's the response we need and then if you come here to the json path all right you will see uh, all the different uh, information you need so the one that we really need to get is this one uh down here where is it uh i'm looking for the one that has to do with that response i think we already had i already added it so that's the one here that says uh choices message content all right yeah choices message content i've already added it that's why we don't have it here anymore so it carries the information that's the response that we need so i had to like click to add json path and then i put here i called it output okay after you're done with that you need to remember to save it okay just like we've been doing all of it okay when you're done with all of this how do you use it what you need to do is you come over here this is a text field what we need to just do simply is we can just say uh input we can just call this uh input and this is the text all right this is the text uh what we just need to okay sorry uh let's go to the the next part here this is the the new new stop i think i just wanted to show you how to create the ui here so let's go ahead and just stick to what we have here and this is the field called input and i already showed you how to query this this is actually in uh, a list view which we added we needed to query it how do we query it so what we do is we basically go ahead and uh do uh instead of you doing a normal query collection you click on this place you see query collection document from reference api call you select api call when you select api call it will show you all of this if you have more than uh, one endpoint it will show you that's for this particular api call all right so we have a couple of api calls here so we have this one we have this one we have this one so we're just basically using this one for the the api call for chat gpt and then we have just this one here that says send message then you have to in introduce your variables which is going to be the user input the user input is going to come from the variable if you see here you come to widget state you take uh, input input which is the name of the text field 
Then after that, the next thing you need to do is you go ahead and introduce the API key. So this is my API key that I'm introducing into it without direct adding it directly uh, during the API call section, right? So now this provides some level of security for me. When I'm done with that, I just go ahead and like, I think save it, all right? Then, uh, then I click on here and tap on this uh, small icon here. I will see, uh, uh, I'll see here where we have the send message response. I'll click on it. I'll see JSON body predefined parts. Then I will go ahead and find my output. All right. Then I put some sort of information here, TXT. All right. That's it. Then you click on confirm. Now, this is where we are going to get the result of our, you know, prompt, our uh, chat GPT prompt. So let's go ahead and just uh, check it out. And then uh, let me see. Let's find a way and then uh, add a, a, a back arrow to this. So maybe this, no, this one, yeah, this one. So I'm gonna click on this and add like a navigate back. Okay, this is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and just do an instant reload here. So you can take a look at uh, how the application works. Meanwhile, let me just run you through again one uh, short time about the uh, the PowerTap uh, roadmap. So the PowerTap is more like an event uh by this by cx.iu that allows you to earn some coins by you know tapping and part participating in their airdrop season all right so i'm basically introducing you to it because it's what i'm doing and i believe that it's actually what a, a whole lot of things okay so what you just need to do is you can come here and read about their roadmap you can see here that in the second quarter of 2024 uh their main motive was to build community and so they launched the tap game season one uh tap and farm for points reward tax completion for rewards squads building the internal communities and all of that so they did this in uh in the you know second quarter of this year and uh, in the third quarter uh they were involved in uh, empowering the community all right and uh, in the you know between the second quarter and the third quarter right so they did integration into real economy right they launched the mining game season two which is what is ongoing right now which is what i'm introducing you to uh you can actually get some reasonable rewards by just participating in the airdrop in the last quarter which is this season there's going to be a calculation of the airdrop uh and preparation for listing so this is what you need to do to participate in this airdrop what you just need to do is go to uh check the description under this video you will see a link this particular link and it will take you to uh you know telegram and then you can start the the bot and start mining it's very intuitive all you just need to do is click on start bot and start mining that's how it works it's really really simple and really really fast okay so i hope that you give me feedbacks later when you participate in this particular game because this is going to be uh, a really really exciting thing so far okay so let's go back to uh our application here this is the debug mode for this is the debug mode for flutterflow we get to see how our application looks like in real time uh so i'm just clicking on the instant reload again just so that we can see the application load up real quick uh, and then we go ahead and test what we have done so far. So this is how it looks like. I'm just zooming out. Uh, this one, when we click here, we get to see the the real-time values of Ethereum and Bitcoin. So these are the real-time va values of Ethereum and Bitcoin. And um, so as you can see here, these are like the the the, the real-time values. So you can see uh, the last change, the last was 100,000 plus for bitcoin all right and then the the change was 43.94 percent all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to chat gpt yeah i'm going to go to chat gpt and i'm going to try to talk to chat gpt inside this my flutterflow application built without writing a single line of code if you're enjoying this tutorial so far please remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video as well because that way you're supporting what we are doing right now okay so um here there's a demo uh, prompt that says hello how can i assist you today this is directly from uh chat gpt so what i'm gonna ask is what is the price of bitcoin today so i'm gonna put it like like that and then i'll just ask it so i'll wait for a couple of 
you know seconds and then i will get a, a response i'm saying what is the price of bitcoin today so i am unable to provide real-time information it is recommended to check a reliable financial news source or cryptocurrency exchange for the most up-to-date price of bitcoin well that's what it says because right now it's not connected to internet so let's say what is the price of bitcoin today you know being um being the seventh day seventh day of december uh 2024 okay so this way let's see what is going to give us uh, uh an information okay so i think it's telling us the same thing i'm unable to provide real time okay so it's saying i'm sorry but i'm unable to provide uh so i'm gonna say browse the internet let's see browse the internet and tell me what the the what the price of bitcoin is today all right being the seven day of Zoom. let's see whether this one is going to work okay so this is just chat gpt giving me uh you know the information so it's telling me i'm sorry but as an ai language model i do not have real-time internet browsing capabilities to provide you with the current price of bitcoin seven day of the i recommend checking a reliable financial news website or a cryptocurrency exchange platform for the most up-to-date information well that's the typical response from chat gpt yeah because uh right now this particular integration does not give it access to internet but if you come over here and ask uh the real ch does the chat gpt directly here what is the price of bitcoin what is the price of bitcoin of bitcoin today all right so it's gonna it's either gonna give me like uh, okay it's setting the web it's setting the web and it's getting the exact date all right so you're getting the exact date and then it gives me this particular value now uh this is actually a much more optimized apart because right now we have not done like the complete settings to give us to allow ChatGPT to have access to internet from our application in subsequent tutorials i will show you how to go about adding that and making that possible well let's go ahead and ask some other information like what is uh, cex.io all right let's see what the response is going to be what is cex.io and let's see what is cex.io is a cryptocurrency exchange platform that allows users to buy sell and trade a variety of uh, cryptocurrencies such as bitcoin ethereum and litecoin it also offers uh margin trading as well as a brokerage service for buying and selling cryptocurrencies with fiat currency the platform was launched in 2013 and is based in london beautiful it has this information so uh tell me more i can say something like tell me more are about about uh the cex.io airdrop uh season two all right so tell me more about the cex.io airdrop season two so now it's going to give me the information now cx that i use airdrop season two is a promotional campaign where users can earn free tokens by completing simple tasks such as signing up for an, an account verifying the identity and trading on the platform the campaign aims to attract new users to the cex.io platform and rewarding existing users for their loyalty during uh, airdrop season two users can earn tokens from various projects that have partnered with cx.io right so now uh, this basically shows you that we have successfully integrated ChatGPT's API inside our application in Flutterflow. Now, uh, I believe that you have been using uh, WhatsApp and you have been seeing that there is now this uh, icon where you can actually get to assess, uh, you know, AI, you know, inside your uh, WhatsApp application. Now, that simply means that with Flutterflow, you can also integrate AI inside your application and make it such that it can even guide your users. You can feed it with a lot of database uh, data and make it such that your users can be asking it question and it to provide them with answers how can i use this feature on the platform how can i use this feature on the platform you know and then it to provide the users with answers so uh this tutorial was just to help show you how to you know uh integrate uh, ChatGPT's api all right and then use it to check out the price of bitcoin and as you can see it's not giving us the price of bitcoin because it can't it doesn't have access to the internet all right but we can actually get to have access to the current price of bitcoin directly by you know checking out what happens here so um 
I believe that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. And uh, uh, if, at, if at all you have a lot of questions, you can drop them in the comment section and I'll do well to respond to them as soon as I, I can. All right. So remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video as well. Uh, and don't forget to also start mining uh, the tokens from this platform, from the CX.io platform, all right? So come and farm the CXP tokens and earn rewards so that once the once the uh, coin has been listed, you will begin to like get like real-time value and real-time money from it, okay? I hope that you have benefited from my tutorial so far and uh, remember to share this information with other people so that they can also benefit from it subscribe to this channel and remember that you uh you can use a flutter flow to build better and launch faster see you in the next tutorial bye for now